uh, for this interview, for this episode, I invited a person who is in the medical field in Vancouver, Canada, but eventually he is into photography now and event production. Please welcome Mr. William Orsu. <laughs> Hi, William. Kumusta na? Hi, Direk. How are you? Very it's well. It's like yesterday you were here. Uy, nasan ka? Ba't iba yung background mo? Uh, I'm in a coffee shop right now. Okay lang, okay lang, okay yeah, lang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just finished a, a meeting with a oh. client. Oh. And then I had a facial. They gave wow. me a facial because <laughs> it's a... It's Alisa. Remember Alisa? Ah, uh, abuti ka pa. Abuti ka pa. Kami wala so pang ganun time. dito. First time. First time ko lang magganyan. So, <laughs> I don't really do these things but it feels good. We deserve it. Oh. oh. William, oh. you are in the science field by profession and That you practice right. it, no? Nagpa-practice ka naman. Mm. O, paano mo pinasok 'yung sarili mo sa photography? Kasi parang magkaiba, 'di ba? Parang iba. Ah. So basically, I didn't plan for it. It just happened, and kind of just I just discovered myself. Uh, the circumstances kind of got me into photography, mm-hmm. and then I just fell in love with it and just kept doing it. But um, I'm a respiratory therapist by profession. I graduated mm-hmm. in Emilio Aguinaldo College in Manila. Mm-hmm. Then I've been working overseas for many years now. I know I was in Australia for five years, two and a half years in Saudi Arabia. And then I've been here in Canada for 13 years now. Well, mas matagal sa Canada, so, syempre. Oh, I'm still in the healthcare. Oh. But I don't do patient care anymore. I'm a respiratory therapy assistant now or a tech. Basically, okay. I look after the the equipments of the respiratory therapist. Oh. So that uh-huh. I chose to do that because it's a lot of stress working on on the bedside with patients and all that. Oh. So, and also so that I can concentrate on my photography. So, oh, William, nung bata ka pa ba, mahilig ka na sa photography? Uh, actually, um, not really direct, but I, I have so many passions. I collect 
I collect uh-huh. cards and but I love nature overall. Oh, nga pansin ko. Oh, I love pansin nature. So which much. which leads me to the next question. Mm-hmm. So nature ang favorite subject mo. Yeah, that is actually uh, actually direct to give you a brief story how I got into photography. Mm-hmm. When mm-hmm. I was living in Prince George, which is the northern capital of BC, it's mm-hmm. about 8 hours to 10 hours drive from Vancouver. Okay. BC, is, BC is British Columbia. Yeah, British Columbia. It's a oh. province in, in Canada. Canada. Oh. So, binenta ko yung kotse ko mm-hmm. because I'm moving to Vancouver. And then the guy who bought it was short by $500. Oh. Sabi niya, I really like your car, I want to buy it, but I'm short by 500. Can I offer you my camera? Sabi oh. ko, oh, I don't really do professional photography. Sabi ko, but let me think about it. Tapos pumunta ako sa, copy, ay, sa, sa isang computer shop, parang technology shop. Uh-huh. We call it Best Buy. And then, magtingin ko, shoot, this is, this is $3,000 worth. Sabi ko, ang mahal pala nitong uh, camera na to, eh, 500 lang yung kulang niya sa akin. Sabi ko, papayag na ako. Sabi ko, this is a good deal. So then, I moved to Vancouver. I started playing with it. I took picture of my kids. Then I joined the photography group na Filipino group. Then I fell in love with photography. I fell in love with doing landscapes. So, so eh, ano, William, accident. Oo, accidental lang. I didn't mean to. Yeah. So napansin ko nga William sa mga photos na ano na nakita ko sa iyo. Mm-hmm. Nature talaga and you're taking advantage of the beauty of Canada. Yeah, Di ba? Right. Ang ganda-ganda yeah. kasi ka ng Canada, eh. the, the surroundings, the in nature basically. Yeah. Diba? Sobrang ganda rito and you can take pictures even with clients anywhere. Unlike sa Pilipinas, you have to have permits and all that here, they're so open to things like that. So Ang sarap mag-shoot sa labas and maximizing the beauty of nature. Mm-hmm. Combining, my, my main style is combining nature and portraiture. So, oh, I think oh. it's a really good combination. Parang ganun. But William, ano, diba, aside from fulfilling the artist in you, mm-hmm. siyempre, practical na sa panahon ngayon. Yeah. Sa tingin mo ba itong photography is lucrative enough for you mm-hmm. and your family? Yeah, the, uh, direct it was, uh, I nurtured it. I, I, I was working full-time as a photographer uh, uh, in the hospital for 11 years mm-hmm. when I started photography. So during those times, I was nurturing my photography on the side, building my brand mm-hmm. while I'm doing my photography. So I have my safe, secure job mm-hmm. while I'm nurturing on the side my business and my name and everything that I do. So when I, when my kids are a little grown up and I felt like the earnings, because I made my photography as my second income. Eh? Mm-hmm. Before I do second job, three jobs. What I did is I converted my, my, uh, my hobby, which is photography, into something that will earn me a little bit of money. Because so. my wife is getting mad. And it's taking away a lot of my time. And I have three kids to support. So I won't, I won't be able to, uh, to continue it kung hindi ako kikita. Otherwise, okay. it's just a cause problem, di ba? Kasi, Benta mo na lang yung camera mo. Oh, oh, <laughs> mag- magagalit na yung misses ko. Kasi it's taking a lot of time. I'm uh-huh. using the money without an income, right? So uh-huh. I used, so in order to sustain it, to keep it going, I had to earn. So I started doing portraits, weddings, fashion editorial. So like what I did, I slowly brought up my photography business. One lead. Kumbaga, kumbaga, ito yung gauge. Ito yung full-time ko, which is very uh, stable. I uh-huh. brought photography higher and higher until I came to a point na mas mataas yung income ko na sa photography, yeah, so photography. than my full-time job. And... Oh. And I thought about it a lot. It was a calculated risk. I didn't jump on the, on the fund right away. Uh-huh. Parang kumbaga. When I, because uh, I built my name already, my brand. So sabi ko, I'm ready. Plus, after the pandemic, after all the hard work in the hospital, parang na-burn out ako sa trabaho sa hospital. Sa trabaho. 
I felt I felt like also I wasn't really growing and oh. I'm not happy anymore. So and I really love kasi habang nasa kahit nasa ospital ako, all I think about is photography. Aside ah, talaga na sa isip oh, mo na siya. Oh, oh, even when I'm pushing a patient or oh, oh. or doing something in our department, I think of it like a composition. How would I shoot it this way? <laughs> Ay, okay. Oh, oh, so, so, so William, ang photography sa you gives you a natural high. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, it's kung ganyan, no? Plus all the more na pag shoot mo yung nature, mas nadadagdagan yung yung passion, yung yung yeah. pagmamahal sa photography. At saka direct dito po kasi sa Canada or sa North America, we work so much. Oh, oh, we don't oh. have a lot of barkada, yung mga oh. hobbies. It's it's a lot of work, especially a lot of three kids. So the good thing about it, my photography is kind of like my passion. It's really, it keeps me sane, kumbaga. It balances my life. So the more I do it, mas masaya ako. So I always have something to look forward to. Mm. And... It's not a job for me. It's 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 really something I enjoy. That's I the artist. Oh, that's the artist it, in you, William. You know, artist. That's true. So, oh, your yeah. passion and everything, I think, right? I think uh, I think it's that it's that one that really oh, helped oh. me make it in the industry. It's my passion for the ano, oh, oh, for oh. what I do and what and I really love it. Yeah. Tapos William, recently, pre-news mo nga yung show namin dyan sa Vancouver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I should say, personally, it was a resounding success. Oh, despite the hardships, yeah. no? Despite the hardships yeah. na niranas mo, no? Mm-hmm. Bilang producer. Lahat naman ng producer, dumadanas ng ganun, William. Yeah. Kahit saan parte ng mundo. Dumadanas ng ganun, lalo pa ikaw. First time yung pinasupan talaga. And oh. it was, for me, it was really a success, no? Uh, yeah. Personally, as a director, masaya ako doon sa walong araw na stay namin sa Vancouver. Oh, oh, Kasi takita namin, makikita namin yung iyong pagpukusigi, yung mm-hmm. iyong passion. At the same time, hindi mo kami tinabayaan, William. Yeah. You were there. Ano yung pumasok sa isip mo? Bakit mo pinasukan yan? But instantly, pinasukan mo yung pagpuproduce. Actually, direct, uh, I've, I've seen all the production for many years. Kasi mm-hmm. I should most of the big events here in Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Arnel Pineda, Bamboo, name it, lahat ng karamihan ng mga sikat na artist na pumupunta rito. I'm usually the photographer. Mm-hmm. And I've seen how they produce. I've seen a lot, especially I do a lot of wedding. It's kind of like a production too, right? Mm-hmm. So, but I've worked with Mama Rene a couple of times or three times already. Mm-hmm. And Jasmine and Ann Barker. Mm-hmm. So I kind of know them and I really love the personality and uh, what Mama Rene advocates for. Mm-hmm. And and I found out na pupunta dito na walang magpo-produce ng Van mm-hmm. Cooper. And it just so happened, happened, it's a blessing in disguise that I'm supposed to have a project in New York mm-hmm. for a corporate shoot for a big brand. That didn't transcend so i was i was i was a little bit disappointed because i already uh, it's already in like a couple of days or in a few days mm-hmm. so everything is set i have already dedicated my time allotted the time and then hindi nga natuloy so parang it was meant to be at the same time i found out i said i want to divert my energy into this and at the same time i truly believe in the show in Mama Rene's advocacy for for uh, something very Filipino mm-hmm. that will put our name in the pedestal of, you know, medyo high-end ng konti. So, I said to Mama Rene, meron na ba magpo-produce dito? Wala ka. Sabi ko, I just woke up one morning direct and I said, I can do this, I'll do it. So, mm-hmm. I took the risk. It was really a lot of risk. I know, I know. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I committed and I just went for it. And the, one of my uh, qualities, direct. Mm-hmm. when I commit, I commit 101%. Hindi lang. 1,000%. <laughs> I should know. Na-experience ko po yan kay William sa Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Hindi po kami niya nilubayan. Hindi niya kami iniwan. Hindi mm-hmm. niya kami pinabayaan. And I should say, William, that you did very well as a producer. You Thank delivered. You. you really delivered. Matanong ko lang, ano ko lang ha, ano lang, curious lang ako after our show. 
Mm-hmm. How did you feel? Anong naramdaman mo after the show natin? I'll be honest with you, Direk. Mm-hmm. During the, maybe the last, the few days before the show, mm-hmm. I was already questioning myself. What did mm-hmm. I get myself into? into Because yeah. of course, the time that I'm seeing little hiccups and problems here and there, and I'm basically doing a lot of the work, mm-hmm. and it's taken away a lot of my energy, giving me a lot of stress. At the same time, it's costing a lot. Mm-hmm. But sabi ko, parang, ano, is, this really, is this really what I wanted to do? Mm-hmm. Is, it, is it really, you know, something I really want to? So I have doubts. But then I have to push myself one, as I said, 100, uh, 101%, maybe mm-hmm. 1 million percent. Mm-hmm. Because I told myself, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. I might mm-hmm. as well keep everything. Kesa, I, kasi gagawin ko na rin lang. It will, it will represent my name, mm-hmm. my brand. Pangalan and, mo rin. And ginawa ko na rin lang. Gawin ko na ng maganda. And I put everything and just, just I just prayed. I, uh, the day before, I just prayed, Lord God, I'm giving all my best. You know it. I poured everything. Ikaw na po bahala. And then after the show direct, Uh-oh. that was the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. Because aside from I've seen the success and the fruit of hard work, mm-hmm. I also saw my family na they saw me doing the hard work and they witnessed the output. And they were so proud of me. It felt so good direct. Mm-hmm. It, was, it, it felt so right. Everything that I questioned about, parang it suddenly it's so worth it and people are so happy and they were satisfied just like what we promised more than that mm-hmm. and it just shows that when you pour your heart and you do it with passion it's always going to work out mm-hmm. curious lang ako William ano sabi ni Vanessa at saka ng mga bagets sa you after so, after the few show days before sabi ni Vanessa sa akin I'll be honest I don't want uh-huh. you to do this anymore. Don't uh-huh. ever do this again. Uh-huh. So, uh, ako kasi mapakamapansin siyo sa kong tao. I just, mm. I just, I just swallow it. Yes, okay, okay. What I do is I just prove it na it's worth it. Mm-hmm. So after the show, my wife hugged me. Kasi direct, they always see me working but they don't see the output. Either I do the shoot in destination, mm-hmm. I travel, or I shoot in an event. Uh-uh. They, don't, they don't watch me do it like in, in person talaga. Uh-uh. But that one, my whole family was there. And I have a 16-year-old that I'm trying to inspire. Uh-uh. About uh-uh. hard work, about, you know, how to, how to, li- how to properly live, how, you know, what to expect in the real world. Uh-uh. And then he hugged me direct dun sa likod. I mean, Dad, I'm so proud of you. Oh, oh nakikita that, ko siya umiikot, di ba, before the show, yeah, nandun na siya. Yeah, so, that after it, pala, after so pala. But that itself, direct, was worth everything for me. I'm curious yeah. lang ako, kasi syempre, mabait si Vanessa, tapos yung children, oh, nakikita oh. ko. Nandun. Now, oh. now, direct, he, they, they agree now on me doing more of this. Oh, And oh, then oh. also, I have a lot of people who message me that, William, if you were produced, We will, we will work with you. We will finance you. Whatever the support William, you need. William, so for the mm-hmm. information of our audience, kasi may mga nanonood din naman from Canada, sa US. Ano nga ulit ang pangalan ng iyong production now? Like yeah. my, name, my name of my company is Soulmate Production. Basically, so. it's Soulmate because I shoot a lot of weddings and portraits. Mm-hmm. The soulmate resonates a lot because I always hear the word soulmate. You're my mm-hmm. soul. Mm-hmm. But uh, the soulmate production do mostly wedding, portraits, commercial shoots. It's the first time we produce an event. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nasa social media ba to? Papano, oh, you can papano, find papano, me. Papano ka nila yeah, they can find me. Just search for uh, soulmate production sa Instagram, sa, sa Facebook. And I also have a YouTube channel. I have a lot of inspirational yeah. videos. Yeah, no. I have behind the scenes. I have my tra- inspirational travels. Uh, yeah, sometimes, no. sometimes I have tutorials about photography. And also I have videos of, about my family. They just have to search William or Sua. Uh, yeah. Or Sua is 
O R S U A. So, may isa mga interesado diyan, baka naman. Uh, <laughs> anyway, support me. Oh, and if please. you have any questions, if you want to ask anything about photography, oh, and oh, oh, do, please. You're more than welcome and I would love to. Oh, William, yes, please. Them. Yeah. So, oh. William, yeah. yung pa, yung yung yung, yung path ng career mo are poles yeah. apart, no? Isang science, oh. tapos nasa art. Pa, paano yeah. mo nire-reconcile yung differences nun? Or meron bang similarities kahit pa paan? Uh, actually, it's totally different. No, but okay. There, yeah, but there's just a lot that I, maybe personal aspects that I learned in my professional job, being a healthcare worker, about resiliency, about being patient, because you cannot get, get mad with patients of even course. if you like them, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just, it taught me a lot about hard work, resiliency, and just being patient in life. Mm-hmm. And then I brought that towards the the other side. Oh, oh sa art and naman, sa art. And now, actually, it's good to have different sides of the world. Something oh, 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 different. Oh. And, and I, what I do direct, when I'm finished with my hospital job, I totally oh. erased that out of my life, of my my mind. So, kumbaga, I step onto a different shoe. Pero, tanong, ang tanong ko ba, are you still practicing or totally nag, ano ka na, nag-shift ka na? Direct, for the first time, I made it my full time, but I did an LOA. So, ah, I, okay, lang muna. Oh, and I, kumbaga, trial, ano ako eh. Uh, like trial ako na doing full time. So for about four months now, I've been doing it full time. So far, so good. It went kind of like three hundred percent to what I usually earn and do. Oh, good. It's actually good. my biggest year this uh, this year. Then, chaka William, you get to travel, pati ma. You get to travel oh, yeah. different places there. Yeah, there's a lot of perks of being a photographer. Oh, oh. Uh, although it's not easy because. You can't just buy a camera and uh-huh. you can say I'm a photographer. It's it's the same. It's building a brand. It's it's getting your name up there, proving how your work is worth for them to pay so for. So talaga William, salamat dun sa nagbayad sa inong camera ano? Oh, na discover mo yung the artist in you, no? Oh, oh. Na discover mo siya. Pero direct, I was really persistent to be a photographer. From the time I got that camera, the camera, I never stopped. Most people kasi will get into a hobby, let's say photography or Uh-oh. basketball or whatever. Uh-oh. They will do it just for a certain time. Para lang siyang hype. Eh. Para lang mm-hmm. siyang hobby na gagawin mo for a year or two. Then magsasubside na. Ako kasi Uh-oh. consistent talaga ako talaga. Ayun Ngayon. Ako. Ngayon. So far, William. So mm-hmm. far, ha? So far. Anong lessons ang na-learn mo dito sa pagpasok mo sa art side of William or Sua? Ano yeah. yung mga leksyon? Kasi nasabi mo na kanina yung sa nurse, na sa, yeah. sa medical you know, field, di ba? Ngayon naman mm-hmm. sa art, ano naman yung mga leksyon so far? You know, uh, direct, I learned that if you follow your passion, you pour your heart in it, and mm-hmm. you give your 101%, mm-hmm. they, you will never you will never fail. And even if you become, don't become very popular, mm-hmm. the least is that you know deep inside that you tried and you pour your 100%. And that itself is already a success. Mm-hmm. And also, direct that I've learned that you have to really commit to what you really want to achieve something you have to have clarity that this is what you want and you just go straight you have to have a path in deep wedding i know you do it halfway half-heartedly mm-hmm. because there's a lot of challenges in between at saka so, william sa artist kasi konting mali lang sira uh, ka na di ba uh, so that's why you really have to always put uh, your best foot forward. Yeah, that's right. Ako direct, my mental, one of the things I practice is if I'm going to do it, I'm, uh, I'm going to do it right first time and all the time. Parang hindi ako, kumbaga in, uh, in layman, sa parang hindi ako uuwi sa iba, isang event na wala akong money shot. Lahat uh, gagawin ko. 
every day, every time I shoot, I have to have an epic shot of whatever I'm doing. Let's say I'm shooting an event today, for example, your fashion show. Uh -oh. I have to make sure that I have to, I will go home with something unique, something out of the norm that I will be, that will, that will resonate, na makikita ng mga tao, that will bring my name up there. Otherwise, I'm just ordinary. Oh, I'm just oh. any other photographer that will just click. Kasi, I do things by the heart. Oh. It's not just, it's not just shooting. I, I'm passionate about it. Ang, oh. ang tagline ko nga sa business ko, direct is, ano yun, um, I shoot straight from the heart. Because I really love what I do. I think, uh, yeah. To be honest, William, ha? to be honest, maging pagbapakatotoo ako, mm. after ng show natin, ang lakas ng kutob ko na establish mo na yung pangalan mo sa events production. Nakita mm. ko yun eh, nung bumalik kami galing Toronto. Nakita oh. ko, ay, biglang an ano na, so na-achieve na, 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 na ni William yung gusto niya yeah. mangyari. William, matanong yeah. naman kita. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nandyan ka na eh. Ano hmm. naman ang future plans mo? Ano pa ba yung mga plano? Concerts? Ano pa ba? Actually, direct I uh, I'm releasing a new business soon. Hmm. It's called Scale Up. Scale Up Media Group. Parang scale up. Parang shooting up. Like going uh, up. Uh, uh, going Because up. Uh, since I got into commercial photography recently, I noticed there's a lot of small businesses that are not growing because they just have the passion but they don't have the marketing and the business side of it. Mm -hmm. of the business they have kasi parang hindi lang pwedeng puro passion lang direct eh kailangan oh, you have to look at the 360 kailangan kumita eh. oh. so direct uh, i have i'm putting up a business that will help a lot of businesses because they can afford it kasi para siyang membership para siyang gym membership mm -hmm. na you're tied up for a year but for a smaller amount of uh, money unlike uh, being hired by uh, hiring a commercial photographer for a certain project mm -hmm. is at least 10 to 20,000 US dollars mm -hmm. we will have membership just between 1,000 to 3,000 dollars on on uh, go uh, go silver gold and platinum, platinum. Which, uh -huh. oh, oh, which will help a lot of business because they can market. It, mm -hmm. The game now is all about video marketing, ABP, reels, you know, properly. Oh, oh. Mga reels, so, sorry, mga ganyan. So, that will help them grow. At the same time, direct, I will now start producing shows. Oh, oh. But, but when I Concerts. produce shows, direct, my key is I don't just produce, I have to believe in uh -oh. the product that I'm gonna produce. Uh -oh. So I'm just gonna be selective direct on the things uh -oh. that I will produce. Because I don't all. wanna oh I don't wanna mass produce. I just wanna produce a few a year. Mm -hmm. Parang few selected. Siguro mga three to four events. Uh -oh. events in a year. The rest one, in, will, one in a quarter. One in oh, a quarter. Yeah, then. the rest will still be my photography and video side. Oh, oh yeah. anyway. William, for my last question, I don't want to take much of your time. Dahil ko pagod ka ngayon dahil nag-shoot ka. No? William, favor naman. Uh, kasi mm. nakukwento ko nga sa'yo, ang aking market is, ha, nanonood talaga nito, ha, 14 to 25. Ano yeah. ma advice mo sa kanila? Konting tips yeah. naman on how to become a successful photographer, respiratory uh, technologist, uh, uh -huh. events producer, even as a father. So, ano yung, ano yung advice mo sa mga kabataan para well, maging, maging katulad mo sila? Yeah. So, I think ang ma advice ko sa mga kabataan is still to study hard, to have something to to fall back, at the same time, nurturing something you truly enjoy. So, I think the key is uh, follow your passion, what you truly love, Mm. And the key to in finding that is ask yourself of something that you can do effortless, effortlessly, but you do it well. For example, ikaw direct, your mm. probably your main passion is producing passion shows and things mm. like that. Na masaya kang ginagawa na 
kahit nakapikit ka, you can do it well. Kasi, mm-hmm. kasi gustong gusto mo at masaya ka. The key is to find that. The main key is to find what you truly love and do it well do and it follow well. your passion. And but uh, with today's world right now, it's a lot of it's the power of entrepreneurship. Eh. It, before you have to be a nurse, you have to be an engineer. Gusto ng parents na now you can be successful running your business at home. It's a different it's it's different world now, direct. Eh. Oh, nga iba na talaga. Uh, you can run a business even just doing it at home. Na uh, pandemic pa, di ba? Oh, so pandemic pa. and people become very resourceful nowadays oh. you just have to uh, look around and take advantage of what you have and i think what i can i can share to others is focus on the good things and not on the things that the bad things around that you don't have control of mm. ako kasi direct i just look at the bright side of life and the things that i have control of like my hard work mm. what i can do what i can persevere hindi yung mga bagay na wala akong control let's mm. say yung pandemic kasi kahit oh, mag oh, oh. anong gawin mo kung may pandemic eh hindi mo naman makokontrol yon but you can still do a lot of things let's say take advantage of the internet and mm. artistry even and social things. media di ba yung social, social media, media. Libre pa. social media is very diba? powerful right libre pa now. wala pang bayad Diba? Oh, yeah. Anyway, William, William, salamat. I know you're busy. Alam niyo po ba galing po yan sa shoot? Pinagbigyan yeah. lang po ako. At We should follow the... up here nito ah, direct. I'm, shoot, I'm shooting uh, Ben and Ben. Ah, yung Ben and Ben. Oo, oh, yung Ben and Ben. Of the, uh, Nandiyan sila yeah, ngayon? Nandiyan sila yeah, ngayon? Yeah, they are arriving today. I'm their ah. picture photographer and they have a concert here on October 5. Oh. Ay, so, by the way, ha, siya rin pala ang photographer nung ano, nung no ages concert kaya and kami yes, kasi on the, on the next day too may kami ka ah, kami kasi nandiyan ba oh, they're here too on October 1 they have a ah. concert October 1 sige lang nang sige sige lang nang sige <laughs> don't don't ano don't waste any opportunity right but oh. william honestly nami-miss namin ng Vancouver kasi oh. the, the the house that you that you rented for us was really the best alam mo kung bakit? Kasi nakakapag-converge kami dun sa umaga, nakakapag-kwentuhan, nakakapaglaba. Oh, <laughs> nakakapag... Parang ano na yun, direct bahay ni Kuya. Oh, oh. Ni Ang ganda, sa so, totoo lang, it, it, we had the best accommodation in, not, not, not offending the other cities naman, but, oh. uh, but our Vancouver accommodation was ideal kasi mm-hmm. uh, two per room, may mga banyo per room, tapos yung, pag, yung importante dun yung mag interact kayo lahat kayo oh, sama-sama. Oh, oh. Okay. sa table oh. o kaya sa kusina lang nagkikwentuhan oh. kami na hindi Black nagagawa bag. sa hotels. Di ba? Yeah. Hindi nagagawa sa hotel. Kaya yeah, you... you... Mm, this sige, go. This is set as an example for the other cities on the upcoming projects, right? Oo, oh, correct. Oo, oh, correct. Yeah. Oh, sana maging ano, maganda. Sa totoo lang. And I felt at home. Uh, oh. Kung baga, malayo, malayo, uh, 15 oh. hours away from the Philippines yung oras. Pero... We felt at home and we were all we had the same we had the same comments lahat kami we enjoyed uh, tapos hindi pa po kami pinabayaan ng Vancouver people araw-araw pang pagkain grabe hindi na nga namin naubos sa ibang pagkain hindi namin naluto uh, yeah. talagang meron doon minsan yung tubig na ubos kasi mahilig kami sa tubig <laughs> pero sa pagkain hindi po kami na ano hindi po kami naubusan o nawalan laging merong pagkain Actually, direct na miss namin kayo dito. Especially after spending eight days together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alam, sabi nga ng mga model, may sepunks daw, separation. Oo, oh, sepunks. So, <laughs> totoo, totoo. And I, kasi ako, maano ako eh sa atmosphere ng lugar. Eh, mm-hmm. nagkataon yung Vancouver, medyo sunny eh. Para sa akin, sunny ang dati. Oo. Oh, Tsaka, oh, very sunny. Tsaka, ang ganda ng tempo natin sa weather. Oo, oh, oh, I uh, think. Starting to be fall. Starting to fall na nga daw. Nakita ko nga yung post mo, nagpo-fall na. Anyway, yeah. William, number one, salamat for everything that you did for us there on behalf of the group. Thank you. And hindi kami nagsisi na nag-show kami sa Vancouver. And we were, we, are, we were very happy when we were there. Ilang araw din yun. Tapos yung mga tao were very accommodating. 
And number two, thank you for saying yes to this interview. I just want people to know more about us in the arts industry. Para maintindihan nila yung ating mga nitigritis, yung ating mga pagkakaiba sa kanila, di ba? And William is an example who was into the science field tapos bilang papasok sa art field. Pumasok sa art mm-hmm. field. So, uh, yan mismo, yeah. I, I hope that the audience learn a lot from this, lalo na yung mga bata. Marami sa mga bata, uh, maraming nagangarap. So, mabuti itong yeah. i-aspire ka nila, William. Look, yeah. he's now in Canada. He lived in other countries. But this more than 13 years na daw siya sa Canada. So, sana kayo din mag-ambisyon, diba? maging, maging maganda mga buhay dahil sa, sa gusto niyong gawin, di ba, William? Anyway, William, salamat and we hope to see you again. Yeah, looking forward for the next year, hopefully. <laughs> oh, yeah, naman, really, right? Bye-bye, oh, bye-bye, 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 everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. Yeah, take care. Salamat.